hello, it's Jacob. This video was actually too shitty for Lucas's channel, so... Actually, I'm gonna upload it, because I'm the dump channel. I uploaded this to my channel, I think it was last week, but I deleted it shortly after because I just thought to myself, do I want to have a video of myself on my channel of me making fun of 13-year-olds? But Jacob's okay with it, I guess, so he has it. This video is scripted by a random old guy, so these opinions are not our opinions. Does that make sense? And yup, this video is sponsored by Jennifer Lopez. Thank you for being... Jennifer Lopez. The chicken girls are back, bitches! The coolest girls in town. Hell yes! Who else wants to be a 14-year-old on chicken girls? Cause I do. <laughs> What's up? It's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan. I'm with my brother Jacob. He also watched the Chicken Girls. I forced you to watch it because I didn't want to watch it alone. It was a great time. We watched it last night. It's on YouTube. Yeah, I don't get that. How do they make money? Did they get paid? Because if you didn't get paid, I <laughs> want to pay you. There's a small chance all the Chicken Girls are getting screwed over. Like, are they paying them in Tootsie Rolls or something? I know. That's like, I feel like they like we will give you all the candy you want, <laughs> and they're like, okay, we'll do the movie for free. Hopefully not. I watched the Chicken Girls TV show. It's not even a TV show, I guess. It's just a show yeah. on YouTube. I watched it, did a video, and I've been getting comments everywhere that there's a Chicken Girls movie and I should watch it. So me, being a grown man, was like, yeah, let's watch the Chicken Girls movie, which was probably made for 11-year-olds. You're double the age of the people that should be watching. Literally, but you know what? I'll react to it if that's what people want from me. I'm just here to please. People don't ever give you things. All I do is give. <laughs> So anyway, I actually <laughs> didn't watch season two of the Chicken Girls. There's two seasons. I've never watched the TV show. Basically, all you need to know is there's these girls. They're called the Chicken Girls, and they really want to date guys, and there's a lot of drama and sadness. Okay. I had no idea what to expect with the Chicken Girls movie. Like, where are the Chicken Girls going to be? Are they going to be in Mexico? Are they going to be transgender? Oh, one of them should have been gay. There's a lot of gayness in this movie, and we're going to expose it all. Hidden messages, Illuminati. So the movie started out. The movie. Well, what? I forgot. You already forgot. We just watched it. <laughs> I was confused the whole movie. Yeah, literally the whole entire <laughs> Chicken Girls movie, Jacob was just kind of sitting there and being like, I don't know what's going yeah, on. But you're like minutes. kind of on Instagram. Yeah, I kind of. The movie starts out and they're filming a movie. It's like Inception. You're watching a movie, but they're filming a movie. I wasn't really sure what was going on. Like, I didn't know if it was an LSD trip. Like, did one of the Chicken Girls experiment with drugs? And like, she was going to wake up and be like, oh my God, like, that's why you shouldn't do drugs at the bowling alley. 13 Audi <laughs> doing drugs. I thought that's what the new generation was. Okay, I'm not even joking, but I don't... We remember this part of the movie. <laughs> Then the movie starts, we're back at high school. All of a sudden, this smoke started appearing in the background, and I was like, oh, someone's smoking weed. And then they all just went into a music video. Something has come over me. Got all the feels. Honestly, I'm excited that the Chicken Girls is fully a musical now. You don't know, but like in the first season, it wasn't fully a musical. It was like kind of touching on it, but now it's like, this is a musical. Everyone in the school is dancing. Does that happen nowadays at school? Never happened, so should I expose them right now? Also, so this girl's possessed. She's literally possessed, like she's moving in different directions. I think they put that in there because like maybe Chicken Girls 2 will be like, the Chicken Girls will give her an exorcism. Oh my God, can I direct that? I'll write the script too. So I'm pumped at this point. Like, oh my God, it's a musical. Then the rap part starts. Flipping through the textbook, waiting on your FaceTime, overthinking each look. Hanging on your last words, now I'm going crazy. Looking for a lady who could call me, maybe, yeah. Is that Chris Brown, Tyga? They were in the music video. Oh, those guys. going on that I like didn't really get to hear the song. I realized the lyrics were gone up, go up, down, upside down, dancing on the ceiling, which could only be about doing drugs once again. Basically the whole movie is about the dance. There's gonna be a school dance and they're all like, oh my God, are we gonna go? And they're like really concerned. Like, are we gonna have our first kiss at this dance? During the middle school dance that I went to, like a circle formed on the dance floor and like no one can get inside the circle. But finally, like I got myself in there and like two people were grinding. Like, I don't know like if one of them got pregnant, but like something was happening. People formed a circle around them so no teachers could see. Wait, for real? I like just freaked out and like 
pretend I didn't see it and continue to do the chicken dance. That's like, a wild middle school dance. There's already been one song of the chicken girls, then a second song appears and this kid is dancing. He's the white Chris Brown and he is getting down. He's a rapper. I'm not talking what it used to be. More love, more love like it's supposed to be. This was one of those situations where like the backup dancers aren't the same age as the people on the show. Like oh, I- Oh, I know what scene you're talking about. They were wearing full on fashion over maybe early college, but like they weren't in middle school. There's no way. <laughs> The chicken girls are getting down again. Oh, if you didn't know, the chicken girls are like a dance squad. I think that's what it is. Oh yeah, if they revealed that at the end of the movie. So who's the main girl? I don't know the name of any of them, so like, <laughs> no, all we can really say is describe them, you know what I mean? I don't know their names. Like, they all have brown hair too, so it's so hard. Should we just make up and- If I just say like, oh, the small chicken girl, the older chicken girl, chicken girl with braids, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day, we're all just chicken girls in different outfits. <laughs> You remember the part of the movie where the chicken girls were like saying Spanish words to the Spanish teacher? Um, no comprendo? And I was watching it and I was like, is this offensive? Like, I wasn't sure. Yeah, like that was a situation where I was like, should we tone it off? <laughs> I didn't have my mind to give them the money for it. Cause like, if you know someone's Spanish, you wouldn't just be like, no comprendo. Another big problem in the chicken girl's life is that new mean principal lady won't let them dance in the hallways anymore. No gay flash mobs allowed here. If you children can't prove to me that academics comes first here at Attaway, then I'm gonna be forced to make some very strict rules. They're all mad because the teacher's like, we actually have to study now. No more dancing, which I was confused. Cause like before this, the whole high school, just one big gay dance party. Like, yeah, they just whack in. That yeah. might be. They were also shocked, like, oh my god, we actually have to study, and it's like, bitch, you can't just prance around the hallway and have that exorcist girl in the background. They thought that they could whack into school doing weed, doing LSD. Yeah, sorry, drug girl. You can't do <laughs> that. You have to study. So the chicken girls already are like, oh my god, we have to study at school? Like, what the f is this? We just want to smoke weed in the closet. Then the mean principal lady's like, not only do you have to study, I'm also going to cancel the dance because she hates gayness that much. She's like, you I guys know. can't even have a school dance because I don't like gay things. This is when I had to grab a tissue from the bathroom and go yeah, That's when both of us stopped watching and had a cry break. Everyone knows dancing is gay. I'm like, this girl hates everything gay. I have decided to cancel this year's spring fling. We demand perfection. So all this is happening. The chicken girls are pissed. They're not having it. And at one point, because they have to study, one of the chicken girls says, is this a prison? <laughs> like, bitch. Wait, she says it's that? It's just school. This isn't Attaway, it's a prison. Like, sorry, you can't be gay all the time. I know. They need to learn that in prison, you can't be gay. So the principal may be mean and Al, but I think she was wearing Kylie lip kit. Was in she? The, in one of the four scenes. In the KKW contour kit? Yeah, she was wearing that. She was sliced. While we're talking about the principal's makeup, like, we have to acknowledge that the Spanish teacher, he's gay, right? Right? His eyebrows were very done. It looked he, like he was wearing foundation. But the whole movie, they're like trying to set up the principal with a gay Spanish teacher. Yeah, and it's just like, I'm sorry, but it's June and he's gay. The chicken girls think that they can set up the principal with a gay guy and that'll like make the principal happy because she's getting some yeah. guys and then she'll be like, oh, I guess we can have a school dance. But like, sorry, but he's going to be busy at some grinder hookups. I know, I was waiting the whole movie for the Spanish teacher to come out. I know, because I thought it was like 2018. I know, I thought they were gonna be thing. like, oh, I don't wanna get with the principal because I'm going to a grinder date or something like that, but it just never came up. Yeah. Like, boo, your eyebrows are dead and done. I know. Snatched, and it's okay, and maybe he is straight, but he's gay. And they could have got sponsored by Grindr. Can you pitch out <laughs> the chicken girls is sponsored by Grindr? <laughs> so, about 21 minutes, out <laughs> the teacher's f***ing. I put that in my note. <laughs> you wrote down, are the teacher's f***ing. Was yeah. that before they announced they wanted them to f you predicted it. You should write the next Chicken Girls movie. <laughs> so the main chicken girl, like the small one, they show her little sister and she is skin goals. Like the little sister had the clearest skin. Like I know she's only like four years old, but like, what products does she use? I know, I wanna know if she goes through like the facial place and like scrapes off all of that her skin. That was angel skin. Like I saw that skin and I was like, oh my God, like does she use Glam Glow? Like what does she use? Avocado yeah. eye cream? Not only is that girl skin goals, but she also low key makes fun of her sister. She's like, I know you're not a fashion icon. I know you're not very good at fashion. Like she kind of runs the show. Yeah, I actually remember that. Like she acted like her sister was a peasant, but you guys came out of the same vagina. I know, but I love so. how the younger sister was just bossing around that main chicken girl. Okay, run. This is where you come in. I know you're not exactly a style icon. Oh! 
All right, so the white Chris Brown guy, I was on my phone for a little bit and then I looked up and he was performing at an old folk song. I didn't really know like, why is he there? Oh wait, let the sun hit your face and it's all that it takes cause it feels good, feels good, feels good. I... What's happening? Was it full? Money, I don't Yeah, it's like it. now white Chris Brown is getting down for old people. Were the stripper dancers there? I don't remember. Probably, I'm just assuming. But it's just like now he's at a old folks home and like the principal's there and the gay Spanish guy. And like, I wasn't sure how we got there, but I was like, okay, I guess this is where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who's back up in this motherfucker. Motherfucker. This just really ticked me off because if I was 80 in a funeral home and Chris yeah. Brown, white Chris Brown comes in, it's like, get out. Now that I think about it, that is really effed up. Like, those people are about to die in the old folks home. And like, they're yeah. gonna make them spend their last days watching white Chris Brown. Hire some quality entertainers for these old people. I would watch the Fashion Nova strip goals, but Yeah, like, the take Brown. away white Chris Brown and just leave his two backup dancers and probably the old people would be happy. Yeah. By the way, the whole entire movie, I was scared of everyone on the cast. If they walked in this room right now, I probably would try and beat Red and in the corner. Would you be intimidated by the chicken girls in real life? Yeah, because I think they were like, bitch, I'm more famous. One of them DM'd yeah. me. She watched my first video and she thought it was funny. Which one? I don't know, they all have brown hair. So the Spanish guy compliments the mean principal and then she's like, okay, I guess the school dance can keep going. You got some really nice dance moves, Principal Anthony. <laughs> and a nice new outfit. If I may say so. They think girls are that desperate. All they need is like <laughs> one compliment. They're like, okay, I guess I'm not a bitch anymore. The school dance can happen. You don't need to study. <laughs> the dance is back on. At least he acted straight. For yeah, the he acted on. straight so the school could solve the dance. He took one for the team. But and we then shortly know. after went to a grinder hookup. Yeah. Just as I said, they could have showed the app and said, do a 30 seconds. Grinder is a hookup app. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, imagine if Grinder does sponsor the next Chicken Girls movie. <laughs> that would be is so funny. So then it shows this one chicken girl who like I didn't remember because I was like, oh, she hasn't really been in the movie. But then I find out that like she's depressed because her parents are divorcing. She's scared her stepsister is gonna move out, and she doesn't have a date to the school dance, which I guess. Nothing really to make fun of because that's actually like kind of sad. Oh, nothing. Just that my life totally sucks. I don't even have anyone to go to the dance with. And with our parents fighting 24-7, I might not even have a sister. I was gonna try to make fun of that, but that's probably too far. Yeah, you can't make fun of dead people. Oh, no one died. Oh, family Once died. again, did you watch the movie? You didn't even watch the movie. Oh, family died They died. divorced. There's no <laughs> death. I thought you said someone died. So now it's the night of the dance, and the main chicken girl, like, yells at that skin goals girl, who's her little sister. Oh, yeah. They get in this huge fight. Chairs are thrown. I think a knife was involved. And then the chicken girl goes up to her room and sings an emo Lana Del Rey song. We were born to die. About how sad she is because like she's like I can't go to the dance because I didn't do good at school or something like that Because I guess like to go to the school dance you had to do good in school But it's like boo you should have studied more if you wanted to grind during Cotton Eye Joe I know if you want to have a baby it takes responsibility Going back to the one depressed chicken girl. So she has a stepsister who lives with her. They ask each other to the dance So I'm like, oh are they lesbians? Thanks sis. No, get up out of those sweats already you say, oh yeah, is there a lesbian couple? That's I think I was so, <laughs> but they're stepsisters, so is that okay? Also, they reveal that the lesbian's parents aren't divorcing, which I guess makes it weirder that they're lesbian because their parents are gonna still stay together. We're not splitting up. Parents fight and things have been stressful around here lately with both our jobs, but it doesn't mean we're breaking up. So they get to the dance, there's weed cupcakes, vodka orange juice, and everyone's about to get lit, get down, it's about to get crazy. During the dance when the Spanish guy isn't with his sugar daddy, he dances with the principal. So like, I oh, guess yeah. maybe he is straight. If I was the sugar daddy, I'd be like, boo, you can't be doing that. I know, yeah. like there was a scene where you see the sugar daddy in the background and he's like, you can't dance with that girl. Like, I know. I'm not gonna pay you then. Can they make just a separate Chicken Goals movie just about his life? Like, oh my God, <laughs> yes. Uh, can I buy the rights to the Spanish guy character so I can like <laughs> do a whole entire three part series about like his struggles? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about why he has a sugar daddy. and like having to act straight at school while he's like also living this crazy sugar daddy lifestyle. I know. That would be a movie I would watch. So the chicken girls perform at prom. It's pretty lit.
<laughs> like the dance was pretty good. I thought it was an A plus plus. No hate involved. Like that would have been my dream though. Like in middle school to like performed in front of my whole class. Oh yeah, and like doing the dance. I know, like that would be my dream. Like, Having a whole clue. I know. Then like there's fog machines and like everyone's like watching and they're like, oh, oh my gosh, like they're all so good at dancing. Yeah. There actually was this group in my middle school, like kind of like the step group or something, and they went on stage at assemblies and like danced to like I'm all the way up, and it was so cool. Oh. Everyone was like, oh my god. <laughs> so the main chicken girl goes to the dance and everything, but then at the end she's sad because TK isn't there. And I was like, who's TK? But then I realized he's the young Cameron Dallas guy. Oh, the And I Cameron guess Dallas she guy. wanted to make out with him, but he wasn't there or something. So she leaves the dance and she's like, okay, I guess TK and I aren't gonna share a romantic night. She finds out that he's been stalking her and is in her backyard. Like he was just in her house's backyard. Like he just had been there. It's like, well, we didn't invite you. I I forgot about that part too. <laughs> <laughs> the little sister with a really good skin is like, hey, wake up, someone's in the backyard to see you. And then she walks back there and TK's back there. But like, if that happened in real life, I'd be like, I wanna like get ready and take a shower before you come over. Yeah, it's like, boo, go back to your house. I know, it's Cameron like, were you Dallas? here all night? Like, get a life, like, what's wrong with you? I would've punched him straight in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did he stalk her and hide in her backyard, he also had a whole entire movie of videos he like was secretly filming of her. Were you watching it? I would it? be wild, but I forgot about this. There are all these videos in the background of her. She was like, oh, how cute. But it's like, were you having hidden cameras in oh, my room? Oh, I remember that. So uh, where did he get those videos from? Hidden cameras. So he's just a creep and they ended up together at the end? And then it's so funny because the chicken girl says, we're going to stay together till we have gray hair. Like she's kind of getting too into it. It's like, boo, you're 11. You're probably going to break up. <laughs> we can be more than friends. And then the next year... And the next year until you have dentures and I have gray hair. Even if you're 50 years old and you're married, saying you're gonna stay together forever, like, you're probably gonna get divorced, right? I know, won't like one of you guys might cheat on someone with a strip Someone's gonna Las get Vegas. a little flirty in the Twitter DMs and next thing you know, they'll have a new daughter in Florida. Some SoundCloud rapper is gonna slip into your yeah. count nose DMs and boom. Oh, the male lady's cute. Turns out your husband's doing her. Yeah, maybe don't be talking about gray hair at 11. After she says, we're gonna stay together till we have gray hair, they kiss and the movie ends. And then he says he's going to LA for the summer or something. Oh yeah, they kiss and then he's like, listen girl, like I'm gonna go to LA. I'm probably gonna get with some thoughts there, but like when I get back here, I'll probably hang out with you again. And she's like, okay, like have fun in LA. I'll just sit here in Ohio or wherever, but you go to LA and have fun with all the Instagram models and I'll be sad here. And that's how it ended. But yeah, so that was the Chicken Girls movie. I personally was entertained the whole time, but you kind of tuned out a bunch. I was on my phone a little bit, but I didn't think it was boring. Like, you did take a sh break for about a Oh, minutes. yeah, there was that happening. So, yeah, that's the Chicken Girls movie. <laughs> this is like the new generation's high school musical. Do you want to go to their meet and greet? <laughs> Wait, I'm having a meet and greet? I'll drive you to their meet and greet. Oh, my gosh. Can we please? Oh, console. Anyway, I'm going to download the Chicken Girls discography and um, try to learn that dance. I'm going to buy the rights to that. It's going to be worth billions in a couple of years. And if you learn nothing else during this video, don't have sex at a school dance during Cotton Eye Joe. Please. See you guys. Subscribe. This, Hit that like button. There's a sweat stain. Ew, where you just got up from is covered in sweat.